The lake is filling up all the while, creating marshland on its shores. Here, weaver birds turn the flower heads of papyrus into building material, and they set about constructing a woven city over the growing lake. Papyrus is one of the Nile's great gifts. Growing along much of the river's length, it provides a strong waterproof building material for expert craftsmen such as these. The people of the Nile have also found it useful for building. The ancient Egyptians even used it to make the paper on which they recorded the story of their great civilization. People here still put papyrus to good use. The design of these boats has changed little since ancient times. Tana has become a vast mountain reservoir for the Blue Nile. The dissolved volcanic soil has enriched the lake. There's good fishing for people and animals. It's thought that the ancient Egyptians heard rumors of this lake, but they never realized the critical role it played in their lives. Every day, pelicans gather near the lakeshore in response to especially dense concentrations of fish. But sometimes the fishing is easy. The pelicans aren't fussy about where their food comes from. Fishermen's offcuts do just fine, as Lake Tana's pelicans have learned. <laughs> 